we have these really cool lights in our hallway that I put in. But the problem is they're sort of low. When you open the front door, this one actually bumps into the door. So what I want to do is try and figure out a way that I can get this to automatically swing out of the way. Because you see that that hits it like that and sort of pushes it. But if we can have the door come like that and then the light move out of the way slightly and the door come past and then when the door comes back it's like whoa, back into place so I've got a few different things that we can use to try and hook this all up I got some wire stuff that's gonna hold it together it's pretty much like fishing wire I got some big hooks and I got some little hooks too and then I got some wall screw holdy thingy things. Okay first things first I want to fix that little cap because it's not actually sitting flat. Let's get some tools. I should probably turn the power off. What the fuck is hallway in German? <laughs> you can see I've got this hook here that's actually holding the weight. So it's going to be fine if this swings because it's really just hanging off the hook at this point. It's not putting weight on the electrical cables. Do that the light's gonna get lower. If I pull the whole thing up a tiny bit higher by screwing it further in. Richtig geil. So here's what I'm thinking. I need the light to move this way. So it needs to move just a few centimeters out of the way. That's the easiest thing to do. And so the only way to do that is to have some sort of hook on the wall here. And then when the door opens, we need it to somehow have some piece of fishing wire or something that comes up here to the string, to the hook and pulls the light this way. I'll put a little hook on the door top here and then I'll put a big hook up in the roof here and then I'll put a hook over here and then the way it will work is the door comes this way pulling the string with it so then the string on the top comes in this way and the string is going that way and then it will go to the hook here which reverses the direction again which pulls the string like this with the light. I think this piece needs to sit about here and then it will go to a hook here and then that will come above head height over to here and then we'll loop that one back and hit the light with that but we need to prototype it somehow yeah large hooks I just need something to hold it out from the wall so that when I prototype it, the string can actually move. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, I just found this random plastic bracket. I'm just gonna stick that on the wall. Okay, perfect. One more. 
second round in plastic bracket. stick straight on. Okay, come with me. Here's how it looks. We got the light, and then we have little hook number one here. So we're gonna tie the string on this end. Then we're going through this piece up in the roof here, and uh, that one's gonna stick out. So we're going here into here, and then we come across behind the light and we hit this one. And then we come back and we tie it onto the light. So the string is gonna come here and it's gonna pull it that way. The real thing we need to get right is the distance between these two, because when the door opens, this is actually gonna let it out slack for a little while. And then when it gets to here, it's gonna start pulling. I think that might be perfect. Let's have a look. Let's hook it up just to start. Okay, so if I just pull this right here, it works. Okay, now if I open the door, I'll just hold this one. Okay, so it lets out. Need it a little bit tighter. Do you see that? It works already. Oh, it's beautiful. So, how can we make that tighter? We can move these two across so that the swing of the door has more impact. That's perfect, a little bit less. All right, so I think I've got this exactly where I want it. I've just been tuning the position, so I'm gonna just mark these out with the pencil. So I'll just make a little X. Big hook there, big hook there, little hook there. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, it's working perfectly. Need to get it far enough into the door that it can carry the weight of the light. Make sure it doesn't split out the side. Whoa. Okay. Sibosh and Sibosh drill. Okay, let's put it in hammer mode. 
So we're gonna grab all of these out. That looks alright. Okay, good. Six millimeter. The six. Okay. This drill is really cool. It just pops straight in. There's a keyless chuck. And then when it hammers, wah, 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 wah. Tied the ends off. This is the first try with the real hooks. Perfect. It moves a little bit later. Oh. Oh. It's so beautiful. It's like magic. Oh, it's so cool. I actually tuned it so it was a lot closer in the end. But I think it works pretty well. <laughs> Check it out! And I'm moving it pretty fast too. It's pretty responsive, but it will swing a bit if you really... Swing it around, see? Then I just throw it back. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just get up. Pack stuff up now. You with your tape friends. And let's put all of you in the magical bag of crap. Magical bag of crap. It's full of crap. Yeah. <laughs> 